Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Captain Bailey's Adventures, and today we are looking at Allagash Black. And now I've done on my channel Allagash White. Now this is, uh, it's got the date bottled on 7-11-18. Yeah, 7-11-18. So way past the date. Uh, now this is a black Belgian style stout. Uh, brewed and bottled in Portland, Maine. 7.5% ABV. Uh, what else it says? Uh, chocolate and coffee notes flow throughout this dark and silky Belgian style stout. Now, I don't know. I guess once we get cracking into it, we'll find out what a Belgian style stout tastes like. I'm assuming it has, must, must have some sort of unique taste because uh, the Belgian style yeast always has like a little bit of a funkiness to it or something like that. At least that's what I've noticed. Uh, we brew all our beers at a single brewery in Portland, Maine, just like we have since 1995. If you're ever in the area, we'd love to show you around. All right, so, yep, Allagash Black. Let's crack it. All right, not too much on the hiss. Thank you, matey. Hmm. Let's see. head going on here. Hope you can see that. It has a copper color to it, so it's not really black all the way through. It's just like a copperish brown color. Very light, too, by the way, with the copper color. Not overly dark at all. Um, I'm not sure if there's any yeasties in here. If it's bottle condition, I'm not sure, but we'll hold off on that for a bit. So that's what she looks like. Let's give it a nose. Let me see. Yeah, I don't know. Not getting too much. Yeah, some hints of coffee. Chocolatey. Ah, different smell. Different smell than a regular American stout, that's for sure. Right on cue, right? Cheers, guys. Not overly bitter at all. Very light on the bitter bitterness. Watery, very watery feeling, not heavy at all. And for a 7.5% ABV, I'm surprised at that. Hmm. Hey, I'm getting the coffee, getting the chocolate notes, but not that very overly, uh, overly bitter Bitterness you normally get from the dark greens and the you know things like that. Uh, it has a. Is there any? Hmm. There is something unique about it. It doesn't taste like a regular American stout or or, or a porter. I mean, it says stout, but you know there's that gray area. What is a stout or a porter? When half the time they look all like this anyway. Um. Yeah, so I guess it has to do with the, the Belgian yeast. There is something there, but it doesn't really taste too different, I, I want to say. Mm -hmm. But there is a uniqueness there. It's crisp. If you could say that about a stout. And very, very watery. Not, too, no, not heavy on the body at all. So cheers, guys. I'm going to give this eight, <clears throat> an eight out of ten, excuse me, <clears throat> on the captain scale. Mm. Very good. Very, very, very good. Beer. I would say this, sessionable. But what I mean by sessionable, I'm talking you have, you know, one or two and you're calling it a night because I, obviously it's 7% ABV. You're only going to have two of them and then you're going to pass out. But uh, sessional meaning you could ha have one of these, see how you feel, and then maybe have another one later, like an hour, an hour from now. But it's not, I'm not talking like one right after the other, no way. But, ugh, no carbonate. So give it a go, man. Try it out, guys. I'm enjoying it. I 
will be getting that again. That's pretty good. So till we do it again, my friends, remember, let's set sail.